Hi everyone, and this is Andy with Blongo.com, and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Zoho Mail. This is an email client application made by Zoho that allows you to send and receive emails, but also comes with a lot of advanced features that we will cover in this video. All right, let's get started. Zoho Mail is an email suite that includes six different applications. Mail, where you will send and receive emails. Calendar, where you can create events to organize your week. Tasks, where you can easily manage tasks you have to complete. Notes, where you can take notes and organize them. Contacts, where all your contacts will live. And bookmarks, where you can save links that you access often. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the Mail application, but we will also mention some features of the other apps. This is my inbox, where all the incoming emails will land. And on top, we have the filtering options to change the view, as well as the button to open archive emails, which took me a while to find it because normally this is on the side panel. And with this last one, you can search for attachments. For example, now we're seeing attachments from emails in the inbox, including archive emails. And with these buttons on the right, we can change some other settings, like turning on conversations or hiding fields. On the left, you can see the navigation bar that you can use to open the different folders you have, as well as access tags and other views. On top is the new mail button, but you can also create other records from it. We also see the streams section, which is like a shared folder that other users can access and respond to emails that arrive there. In this case, all the emails that are sent to hello at blungo.com arrive to the Blungo stream, so any user in the organization can see the emails and answer them. Maybe you notice that this stream opened in a new tab, which is a feature I like. Now we have two tabs up here, but for example, if we search for something using the search bar, it will also open a new tab. And if we open any of the emails, it will also open a new tab. Now that we have this email open, we can review the options we have. The buttons on the top let you move the email, add tags, delete or archive it, as well as set up reminders if you need to get back to this email later, and add tasks, calendar events, and notes related to this email. With these buttons, you can reply, reply all, or forward the email. Let's reply to this email. There are a lot of formatting options available, but you can also use templates. Multiple signatures are available in case you want to use different signatures depending on the email, and you can even insert and modify HTML code so you can really customize your emails. Zoho Mail integrates with Zoho Work Drive, so you can attach files from your drive using this button. Once you're ready to send the email, use the send button or send it later. On the very bottom, we can see this bar that you can use to talk to other users about this email. It is an internal tool, so only the users in your system will see these conversations. This is one of the sharing features of Zoho Mail, which are great to make sure the team is on the same page. You can also share notes, tasks, contacts, and bookmarks. All right, let's close some tabs. And now I'm gonna show you this panel on the right. When you click on an icon, like the calendar, it opens a view where it can access this calendar widget and easily see the events we have next to our emails. This is helpful if we want to coordinate a meeting and we're looking for an open spot. I also have other widgets installed. The CRM allows me to see information from Zoho CRM directly in my inbox. With the Zoho Meetings one, I can quickly create online meetings. And this one is my Zoho Notebook widget that I use to access all my notes. And if we click on this icon, we can see all the extensions we can install. They're all for Zoho products. Let me open the settings and quickly go over some of them. My account is where you can change any settings about your Zoho account. System is where you can customize the look and feel of Zoho Mail. Keyboard shortcut is where you can find and customize shortcuts. There are a lot of options there, but the one I use the most is the archive email, which is Shift A. Mail view option lets you customize the email view, like how to open messages. In integrations, you will find all the integrations and extensions available for Zoho Mail. In filters, you can create and edit filters for emails, like adding tags or forward specific emails, all done automatically. And in signatures, you will be able to create new signatures or edit the ones that you already have. As you can see, there are a lot of options to review here, so if you want me to cover them all, let me know in the comments. The last thing I want to show you is the admin console. Here's where you can do any admin tasks, like adding users, groups, domains, set up company policies, and a lot more. There's even a dashboard that shows you statistics about Zoho Mail. You can do a lot using the admin console, but we're not going to cover that in this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make an overview of the Zoho Mail admin console. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Mail is part of the Zoho One suite, so if you would like to try Zoho One, I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.